my name is dipesh and welcome to another edition of hands on so today's video is not specific to the jimny but it is useful for all car owners could have to transport their car from one city to another i had to transport my dad's 10 year old swift from gurgaon to bangalore the first thought that came to my mind was to drive it and we explored it it is 2200 kilometers from here to bangalore uh, but it was too many days uh, too far and also since it is a older car so we decided against it if you are faced with this situation your first option should also to try and drive it but if it is not feasible then you will have to transport it and this is what we had to do we floated a query and i got quotes from 15000 to 24000 for transporting the car from gurgaon to bank quite a range we found a reliable transporter and we agreed uh, at an amount of 21000 rupees uh, which was fair and once we started the process and i was talking to this person who finally transported the car yesterday and we sort of became friends and i asked him i said you are transporting my car at 21000 and you were sort of still pushing for more and how come people would do it for 15000 so what he told me next was quite shocking so he told me sir your car will not be transported by those people i said what do you mean so he said it will be driven i said how come you know the first reaction is that if they drive it it will come on the auto i will hand over it at a certain reading and i will get it at a certain reading how will they do that so he said sir um, unless you have a really new complicated digital odometer kind of car it is not very difficult to tamper with the odometer so the moment they get it they will drive it to the hub they will disconnect it and they will do whatever they want to with the car for the next 10 to 12 days and then before they hand, hand it over to you they will reconnect it so you will never know that your car is run so many kilometers or whatever kilometers so my next reaction was uh, that how is it practical and how is it going to save them money because i did a rough calculation when i was thinking of driving down to bangalore this car gives a kpl of 15 at best on petrol and uh, it is 2200 km so uh, back of the envelope calculation tells you that you will require 145 liters of petrol and let's say on an average of 100 rupees per liter uh, it is about 14500 and he is asking for 15000 rupees and then there are tolls there is the driver and then there is the lodging of the driver and the food of the driver and so on and so forth so how will they make money so so this part if the previous one shocked me this one left me forever gasted because he told me that sir your car once it is handed over for the next 10 to 14 days whatever days they have promised you for delivery will be used as an intercity taxi yes it will be used as a intercity taxi and it could be associated with an app like bla bla car or fla fla car or these drivers know where to pick up people from uh, in a town you know the, uh, there are designated points where people stand they know that they will get a shared taxi from there to this city to this city and they will keep doing it over and over again in so many days till they reach bangalore and you can imagine actually you can't imagine what your car will be going through how many people would have traveled in it what kind of people would have traveled in it what kind of roads would have traveled and how much would it have traveled so it is actually quite mind boggling you think about it it is such a detailed scheme that these guys have cracked and he said that if the uh, the transporter is savvy he will make sure your car is uh, cleaned inside out before it is delivered to you so you will not even come to know what happened in your car so i was quite taken aback the extent of scheming and uh, 
um, malpractices that people have thought about to make a quick buck. So what can you do if you are faced with the situation? So my first objective was to let you know that this kind of thing happens because we are all uh, in car owners and this situation might arise. The second is what can you do? So I compiled a list of things that you can do. First and foremost, I will say it again, if it is feasible and if there is an option to drive, drive your car. There is nothing better. Think of it as a nice road trip, an extended vacation, take that trip. If you can't for some reason, then go with a reputed firm. There are reputed firms, but they ask you for a premium because they give you what they promise. Don't shy away from paying that premium, it is worth it, right? The third thing, and I thought about it, is that install a GPS in your car so that you can track it. And secondly, make sure you tell the transporter that your car is equipped with the GPS and you can track it. So that will probably dissuade from doing, you know, hanky-panky stuff with your car. The fourth one, and I think this is a little extreme and out of the box, but what the heck if we have to, give your car in a non-running condition for transportation. So I checked with the transporter if that is possible. So he said, yes, as long as we can transport the car from your place to the truck in a flatbed, and then if we can push it uh, and load it in the truck. And then again, same procedure at the destination that we will send it on a flatbed to your house. So that flatbed cost will be additional, but your car will be safe. So your car should be, should, it, should be able to roll on its own if pushed. That is the only requisite. Uh, so if you give them a non-operational car, how will they drive your car? So that is a little extreme. So while I'm at it, let me also share with you, with you some of the other best practices, so to speak. First of all, agree on an all-inclusive quote well in advance and in writing. There should be no surprises of this was not included, that was not included. So you should ask for a door-to-door -door delivery and a door-to-door -door price and, and in writing. Because I have heard of situations where they come there and when they reach the destination, they will call you and say you have to pay another 3000 rupees extra because of this wasn't door to door. Secondly, agree to the payment terms well in advance before handing over the car and also put that in writing. If you can help it, don't pay 100% in advance, although most of these transporters insist on taking 100%. If you have some payment left with you, you have a little bit of negotiation power and that they will deliver the car in time and, and as they promised. Take as many pictures of your car as possible from the exterior and the interior. Make sure to take pictures of the uh, spare wheel, the jack, all the tools, etc. Um, take a picture of your battery. Yeah, it is important. And uh, also when they give you a, a receiving of, of your car uh, on that triplicate copy, make sure you mention how much fuel was there in your car because they insist on some at least half a tank so that they can drive it from the truck and to the truck. And if it is not there, then they will charge you extra money at the end of it. So if you note it down, like I had 60% of the tank, so I've written there. And secondly, also, Make sure to mention things like that the AC was in working condition and stuff like that. You know, all the important things. And I think finally, don't leave anything important in the car. Uh, if you leave it in the car, you should leave it to the mindset that if you don't get it, it's okay. Right? Anyway, please, please, please do not send our original papers with the car. You never send original papers with the car. You either carry them in person or send it separately through a courier, uh, a reliable courier to the person who is receiving the car. These people only require a copy of the RC, Pollution Under Control Certificate PUC and a copy of the insurance. They don't need anything else from you. That is enough for them. They don't need any originals. So never give them originals. So this is my experience and uh, after this you just 
send your car with a lot of faith and a prayer and uh, all the best do like and share this video immediately because a lot of people all car owners actually will need this at some point or the other please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and follow me on hands on with babbar on instagram like always my quote for today is if you are brave enough to say goodbye life will reward with a new hello until next time bye